Tropical systems haven't had much impact on Pennsylvania the last two years, but you only have to go back to Francis and Ivan in 2004 for a reminder of the mess they can cause. One of the most devastating periods of tropical weather ever to affect eastern Pennsylvania occurred around this time in 1955 in the form of a one-two punch called Connie and Diane. Now, heading into August of that year, much of the state actually could have used some rain. Here's the deficits that had built up to that point. The largest were in the eastern part of the state, down almost 10 inches in spots. And July of that year was really dry, especially in the east. Less than an inch of rain fell in Harrisburg, Williamsport, Allentown, barely that in Philadelphia. So the news that a tropical system named Connie was on the way did have a silver lining to it. Connie formed way out in the Atlantic on August 3rd, eventually came inland in North Carolina. It crossed Chesapeake Bay and moved through Pennsylvania on August 13th as a weakening tropical storm. It did produce a few wind gusts of 60 miles per hour, but Connie was mainly a rainstorm, especially in the eastern part of the state where many places got more than five inches, including Allentown and Philadelphia. In some spots, more than seven inches, the areas in darkest green here. The storm took an unusual track. It headed northwest into the Great Lakes, and that kept Pennsylvania in a moist southeast flow even after the storm went by, so the ground didn't dry out much, and already Diane, the next hurricane, was approaching the east coast, and it too came inland in North Carolina. Diane moved north, then turned northeast, passed almost right over Philadelphia on August 19th as a weak tropical storm. Again, there wasn't much wind, but rainfall was intense north of the storm in parts of the Delaware River Basin, some places getting seven to nine inches in just six hours, much, much, much of it falling on hillsides that were still saturated from Connie's rains. Almost 11 inches was measured at Mount Pocono in 24 hours. And the result was flooding along the Delaware River that's still the worst on record at many places, from Washington Crossing in Bucks County as far north as the Delaware Water Gap. At Easton, the river crested almost 22 feet above flood stage. Four bridges spanning the Delaware were severely damaged or destroyed, while 20 were washed away in Monroe County alone. Navy and Marine helicopters airlifted nearly 800 people to safety, but still the floods from Diane caused about 100 fatalities in eastern Pennsylvania and more than $800 million in damage overall, making it the costliest hurricane in U.S. history to that point a distinction it held for a decade. Two years ago, I wrote the foreword to a book called Devastation on the Delaware by Mary Schaefer, a Bucks County writer and publisher. The book was released in 2005 to coincide with the 50th anniversary of the 1955 floods. Check out the website, 55flood.com, if you'd like to learn more about this historic event. Paul Knight will be back with the extended forecast next.